the role of ICTs in the workplace. We're going to decide uh, what that actually is and how that affects you in the workplace. So let's have a look. Let's get started. So my first slide is showing you this. Now, when you look at this, you go, whoa, that is a very big building with a lot of people inside. Yes, it is. Technology is everywhere. It is all around us. It has infiltrated our everyday lives, whether we are at home or in the workplace. And we're becoming more and more dependent on this technology in so many areas of our lives. So let's have a look at the role of ICT or technology in the workplace. So first of all, we've heard the term ICT, and at this point in your journey, you should know that the I stands for information, the C stands for communication, and the T stands for technology. What does it actually mean? Well, one of the most important assets in the world, in my opinion, today, is information. And they say that knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So how do we obtain knowledge? What are the tools that we use to gather information? Knowing how to use technology effectively to gather, to process, to store and share information, I think is one of the most vital 21st century skills. Communication. With having information and knowledge comes the skill of being able to communicate that information to others. Technology affords us many ways in communicating and sharing information. When you think about the workplace, what are the many ways that information is communicated? And you're still in school, so think about just at school or at home. How do we share information? What kind of technology do we use to share information, to communicate with each other? And of course, technology. The enabling part of this whole thing, the ICT, the whole process, information processing cycle, the whole cycle, the enabling part is technology. That is, knowing the devices that we use, the hardware, the software, the methods that we employ in gathering, processing, storing, and sharing information all around us. Now, that first picture probably got your attention. It is pretty cool. Um, that's not me. That's somebody else. Uh, the point is, a banana is useless in the workplace, and this is for breakfast. Write that down. Remember that. You will be tested. But let's move on to something more serious, the role of ICTs in the workplace. And that is what this is all about. The whole point of having technology in the workplace, or anywhere actually, is to be able to search for information, to gather that information, all right? That's the next step after searching. Being able to process that information, store that information somehow, and then of course, share it, communicate it, present it somehow, all right? The advantages, the advantages of ICT in the workplace. Well, I mean, the obvious one, we have access to information. That's what technology enables us to do. We are able to share information with each other. Think of all the ways that you can share information with people. It is vast. We're able to use technological devices to gather data, process, and provide output. Things like point of sale, POS, point of sale services, security, Okay, having access to security issues like, um, what's that one with the thumbprint thingy? Biometrics, biometrics. Automation. Technology allows us to automate a lot of things, so making things a lot quicker and simpler for us to do, freeing us up to do other things as well. Of course, the big gold mine there is communication. That's what we're designed to do as humans. We're designed to communicate with each other. You might have heard of this term, a BYOD. What does that mean? Bring your own disaster. No, bring your own device. Bring your own device. Because there are so many different devices and because technology is so well integrated today and we have the internet as well, you can bring your own device and use that to accomplish all of these things with communication. So your phones, your tablets, uh, laptops, netbooks, etc. We also have access to the internet on multiple, multiple devices. Grid computing being able to pull the resources or the CPU resources of other computers in a system and being able to do even more. These are all some of the advantages of the role of ICT in the workplace. However, there are some disadvantages. Sorry, I couldn't find Emmett with the thumbs down, so I just, I just flipped the picture around. I hope you don't mind. Social issues, okay? 
things like you're never really disconnected. People start withdrawing from each other. So there's this lack of that connection that I was talking about, that communication that we have earlier. Maybe people get a little bit too addicted to technology. And so the workplace keeps us so busy and involved in our own little bubble of technology, we forget that there's time that we need to go out and smell the flowers if they have flowers outside. Fraud and theft, big time. I mean, that's unfortunately uh, a disadvantage of having all this tech in the workplace and anywhere else, actually. And of course, my favorite, misinformation and fake news. Donald Trump loves that. Um, Forget I said that. So there you go. That is just some of the stuff about ICTs in the workplace. So that you know, ICTs, Information and Communication Technologies in the Workplace.